What's up YouTube, Hell Spawn here, and uh, just uh, nothing special, just a real quick little tiny thing that I just thought was funny. Um, went to uh, Walmart, and uh, apparently Walmart took in some returns <laughs> that they probably shouldn't have. Um, first of all, all of these Protecto packs that you see, all of these, were in the big dump bin at the Walmart right next to my house. There was probably about 20 of them. I only bought like six cars, um, but uh, I, I made sure that the cars that I wanted, I put in the Protecto packs. <laughs> um, also, you'll notice that these are all old cars from copyright, copyright date on this one is 2004. Uh, copyright date on this one is 2001. Um, so yeah, lots of like old, old, old Hot Wheels cars that somebody returned and that Walmart took on a return. And whoever the person that returned them returned most of them, about 20, 25 of them, inside Protecto Packs. And like I said, I'm trying to be a little smarter about spending my money so I'm not just dumping tons of money into Hot Wheels and stuff just because I can. So I found a few cars that I really wanted and, uh, not even necessarily for myself. Um, I picked up this uh, this Impala. Look at the top of that car. Couldn't couldn't guess in a million years who I picked that car up for. <laughs> and uh, if you can't figure it out, uh, it's going to be going to Mextalicat. Uh, buddy, your package went out just like yesterday, <laughs> or uh, so. I'm not going to be able to put that one in there, obviously, because it's already gone, but I'll go ahead and start saving that one uh, for your next package that I'll put together for you. Uh, I found this pretty awesome power panel. Look at that. I love the gold, the tampos on that. Pretty cool. Uh, that one I got for me. That one's not going anywhere. Uh, I found this, the uh, 2005 first edition Shelby GR1 concept. Made sure I toss that in a Protecto pack. Um, this, I'm not a huge logo car collector, but I really liked this one. The stock car with the logo, and I love, look at that from the top. I love the hood from the top, that Hot Wheels logo on the hood. That one I really like. Like I said, I know I'm not a big, like I don't specifically collect the Hot Wheels logo cars, but I really like that one. And I picked up this Hot Wheels logo car, but this one, which is also really cool. And they had a couple more Hot Wheels logo racings there, so I may go pick them up or not. But look at the top of that one. Come on. See the top of that one? That one's cool as hell, too. Anglia panel. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Heathkin, if you don't already have this one, let me know, and I'll throw this in the little REOK box. Um, also, let me know what's going on with the uh, with the tools that you want me to pick up. So, uh, just give me a heads up on that. I'm waiting to send the package off for you so that I can put everything together. But uh, if one or the other isn't going to work out, I'll go ahead and get the package sent off to you. And this is the only one of the new Matchbox cars I was really looking for. Uh, one of my favorite castings is the Ford GT. So I went ahead and picked this up, tossed it in a Protecto, not because any other reason other than the fact that I just was taking the Protectos with me. But uh, Ford GT right here from Hot Wheels. And... Uh, going to go ahead and uh, pop this sucker open here because that's the only reason that I bought it for. Just to pop it open. So there's a little Ford GT right there. So possibly a uh, possibly a uh, repainter. I definitely don't like Matchbox's tampo choices. I don't understand why they have to make every one of their cars look like hell. Uh, you know, take the tampos off of it and it's a pretty badass little car i just don't understand why uh every single car that matchbox puts out has these corny cheesy ass graphics on it that makes people turned off from wanting to buy the car or they have stupid color wheels on it or windows or something you know i mean it's like the corvette was such a cool mold but i didn't want it because it had white wheels on it and the tampos look like crap you know, there's a couple other cars that they did that just look like crap. I've got some old uh, Matchbox cars, man, and they're super detailed and they look great, but 
I'm not wasting my money on, you know, garbage. But anyways, I'm a big enough Ford GT fan where I went ahead and picked this up and uh, brought it home. So, but like I said, pretty, uh, pretty crazy stuff. Um, you know, <laughs> who'd have thought? Protecto packs. Um, on a less awesome note, uh, I noticed that the Hot Wheels prices went from 88 cents up to 97 cents now. Uh, so they raised them nine cents from what they were before. Uh, not that big of a deal, but when you buy them in quantity and bulk, you know, it's like uh, it can add up after a while. So uh, I don't know if any of you out there are also noticing the same price increase as I am. But, uh, you know, like I said, they've gone in my store, at least the one right around the corner from my house, uh, from 88 cents to 97 cents. Um, but, you know, 97 cents for a car and a Protecto pack, you know, that's not bad. But, which is the only reason uh, why I picked them up at all. Anyways, that's that. I've got a haul video from the flea market that I did like two weeks ago on my wife's phone that I need to upload. Um, lots of other cool stuff. I should have a Sideshow Collectibles 1-6 scale Boba Fett figure for you. Uh, sometime soon. Bunch of other stuff that I've had in my collection for a while that I've been meaning to do reviews on and haven't done. Uh, soon, everybody, like within the next month or so, people that are subscribed to me for my high-end collectibles reviews slash figure statues, blah de blah blah you guys will be very happy because uh, the reason why I haven't done many is because, as I've said before, Sideshow isn't putting much stuff out, uh, but that's all about to change. So, uh, I got something that I used my rewards points on and didn't have to even pay for, so I got basically a free statue uh, coming my way as soon as it's released. Uh, a couple other stuff, Predator, all sorts of neat stuff. Uh, and one really big Batman collectible. Uh, and that should be next month. I should have that towards the end of the month. So, anywho, I will talk to you guys later. Just uh, wanted to get myself back on the map here. Um, and several of you guys are going to have packages showing up. Uh, Mr. Sensitivity, you've got one tiny little thing that I found specifically for you. Uh, I'm trying to make something, a, a decent package for you. But this is one thing that I know you really wanted. It's not exactly what you wanted, but it's close. Uh, so I got that one little thing going out to you. Uh, Mextalicat, you've got stuff on the way. Uh, Chap's going to have another little box of stuff on the way. Um, Dreadnought, you've got a pretty decent sized box of awesome headed your way. Um, so yeah, uh, lots of cool stuff guys. Let me know what you think. Looking forward to seeing your videos. Hopefully I don't disappoint. And uh, y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching.